Hey, what, what was Debo talking about? Can you explain to me what that was? Were those just lyrics? I don't know. I'm 34. <laughs> I don't, you know what? I'm not quite sure about that. But what I can say is he's basically sending a message to the team. Give him the bag. Come correct. Don't mess around. And I yeah. agree with him. People have to understand that Debo is 26 years old. He's only going to get maybe one real payday. I, I genuinely would not. Too. Right, right. So I, I genuinely wouldn't expect anything less than 23 to 25 annually. And that's going to be the going rate. Now, if I'm the 49ers, you can save yourself money by getting the deal done first. Because guys like Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, um, Terry McLaurin, DK Metcalf, AJ Brown, all those guys are coming next and they're coming soon. But if you can get it done first, even though you're quote, quote unquote overpaying right now, you're saving yourself in the long run. So I would work on that deal fast, pay him 23 to 25 over four to five years and just get it done. You know how the Niners can really piss off Debo Samuel? Go to the negotiating table and bring the Christian McCaffrey deal. Like we're going to make you the highest paid running back in the league. How does that sound? Don't do it. Wide receiver, they'd be like, well, technically, let's look at your splits the second half of the season. I mean, we're going to have to meet in the middle here, Debo. I don't know. I think that's how Parag does his business. And I think and the only way you override that is when is when Kyle comes in the last minute and says, Parag, stop messing around. You did that with Trent Williams, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. So, I mean, I hope they don't do that. They, Like I said, be first. Save yourself money in the long run. But I want to talk about the secondary thing. Quick, just before, I, before we go on, what Debo has to realize is that Parag is a competitor and he's trying to win. He's not trying to go in there and be like, Debo, let me make your dreams come true. He's trying to win and he's trying to win at your expense. So Debo, <laughs> call up Fred Warner, call up George Kittle and, and figure out what you should expect. Because this is a competition between you and Parag now. Sorry, go ahead. Absolutely. And I think he realizes that. And that's why I think he's posting what he's posting. I think he's he knows he's got to play hardball and he's smart. So right, all year, like, everyone was telling him how great he was. Oh, now all of a sudden you got Parag being like, well, actually, it's like, what? Where are you? <laughs> you're a great running back, Debo. Let's pay actually, you Actually, yeah, the numbers say this is what you're worth. Oh, thanks. Spreadsheet. <laughs> all right. So I'm with you on the secondary thing, but I'm going to go a different route. So right. I keep I keep hearing everybody talk about J.C. Jackson, which I would love to have. But reality is I understand him and New England are having issues, but this is we're we're just talking about Debo and how hard negotiations are going to be. That's all the Patriots are doing. Worst case scenario, they'll franchise tag him. They're not letting him go. They pay DBs. They trade for DBs. That's their philosophy. So I would be shocked if he gets out there. That's one. Mm -hmm. Two, Stefan Gilmore is going to play next year, I believe, at 32 years old. So you want a man corner that you're going to pay 13 plus over the next two years, 13 per season. And you're going to expect that he's not going to just give out at 32 and then 33 years old. I don't know if I'm going that route. I do like Ambry Thomas. I do like Mosley. And I think their issue has been on third down, but I don't think it's because of their skill set. I think it's because they've been playing a lot of soft squat when they're more man corners and it's been an issue. But well, no, man, early in the season, there was just flags galore. When D'Amico was aggressive, and then I think he figured out, like, okay, well, <laughs> the new the new goal is no penalties, no deep ca catches. Can you guys do that, please? And it but came with the third down defense. To be fair, he was aggressive with guys like Norman and and uh, and who was the other guy? Kirkpatrick. Well, Mosley. I mean, Mosley was committing pass interferences left and right against Indianapolis. Yeah, I think that was. I don't know. I, I think that was more of a one off because I've seen Mosley. I think Mosley's yeah. fine here, yeah. but here's how you can help both of them. OK, uh -huh. so if I'm going to splurge in the secondary, they need to fix what they need to fix two things. One, they get a, need a nickel corner and two, they need to replace tart potentially. Uh -huh. Here's how you do it with one player. If you're going to splurge, splurge on Tyron Matthew. He's 29 years old. He'll play next season at 30. He's only he's 29. Damn, he's yeah. been around forever. So he turns 30, I believe, in May. So he's going to play next season at Crazy. 30. Yeah. You can pay a safety over four years and let him play till he's 33, 34. And that's not as big of a deal as doing that with a corner, right? He's like Jimmy, he's like Jimmy Ward with ball skills. Sorry, Jimmy. I love you, Jimmy. I'm sorry. Right? But you can have both of them. Imagine yeah, Jimmy. No, down. That'd be great. They like they like to uh rotate those safeties. They like to have them do different things. I would trust either one of them in that nickel corner spot on third downs. And they can cover the back end good enough on two man high to allow 
Mosley, and Ambry especially go play press man and third down and long. I think that that's the best way to fix everything. And then you bring in somebody like a Kyle Fuller to compete with Ambry Thomas. Whoever wins that job, great. Whoever doesn't, you've now got the added depth you need and your secondary's fixed. That's how I would do it. I love it. I think that's great. That's really cool. Um, as long as it doesn't involve starting Diamondo Lenore and Talanoa Hufunga, I'm in. I'm good. Yeah. That, that's ridiculous. They can't do that, but they will. Well, and Jimmy Ward is entering the last year of his deal. So just by simply restructuring his deal, you're going to save almost $6 million. So that will help you get that money you need to go splurge on Tyron Matthew. So that's how I'm doing that. Genius. Love it. Thanks for calling in.